Hello interwebs. I was thumbing through my owner's manual and I found this note about fuel quality, which says, and I quote, your engine is designed to provide optimum performance and fuel economy using unleaded premium fuel with an octane rating of 98 Ron. <clears throat> Porsche also recognizes that these fuels may not always be available. Be assured that your vehicle will operate properly on unleaded fuels with octane numbers of at least 95 RON, which is 98 KI, since the engine's electronic octane, trademark, knock control will adapt the ignition timing if necessary. Fancy. Well, I recently fixed the knock sensors on my car, so I imagine that my electronic octane, TM, is now working properly. Now I also have a durametric cable, which allows me to actually observe the engine timing at any given point. Which got me thinking, I wonder if we could do a test with different fuels. So here's my plan. We're gonna jump in my Porsche, gonna fill it up with the lowest grade gasoline, drive the lug nuts off of it, fill it up with the highest grade octane, and do the same thing and see if we can tell the difference. Now where I live, the highest octane rating isn't quite 93, it's only 92. So we're gonna have to try and mix some things to try and get it to 93. Might not be a perfect test of 93 octane, unfortunately. Anyway, enough talking, let's get driving. So to start our test, I had to somewhat reluctantly, mix 89 with 92 to get the minimum octane rating recommended by Porsche. Right then, we've got our data logging happening. We've got the first of our fuel tests in. Now we've just got to do some aggressive driving and see what happens. It's hard work, but someone's got to do it for science. <laughs> See ya, Prius. Alright, let's get on the freeway. That's good data. <laughs> Old man and minivan next to me. Been following him for like miles. I think he's over there looking for the gas pedal at the moment. <laughs> See ya. <clears throat> I mean, uh, uh, collecting data, collecting data, good data. Hello, police officer. <clears throat> all right, so I have all my data here. Nothing like good data. May have collected a little bit more data than I needed, if I'm honest. But I've combed through it all and highlighted just a few sections that I think show the difference in octane. So let's dig into it. So after coming through all the data, I found these two sections that I think show real world examples of how the NOx sensors change the timing based on fuel. On the left side, we have the higher octane fuel, and on the right side, we have the lower octane fuel. On both sides, you can see where the timing advance hits a peak, and then the ECU cuts in and starts retarding or slowing down the timing. Both graphs look very similar, but with the high octane gas, you can see that we got about four tenths of a millisecond more timing advance. By my calculations, that translates to about a 3% increase in the timing advance. Now that's not a huge difference, but realize also that that happens at about 300 RPM later. So you get more advanced timing for longer, 
about 7% longer, which is definitely significant. Right then, we've shown that high octane fuel does in fact increase performance. Not a big surprise there. But one thing that we didn't do is we didn't put in higher octane fuel than what Porsche required. And I would like to do this if I can get a hold of like 100 octane fuel or something like that. But I suspect that it wouldn't actually increase the performance at all. The reason for this is that the electronic octane, trademark, already senses engine knock and advances the timing accordingly. At 98 run, Porsche considers the knocking gone and advances the timing to its maximum allowable value. This is also a reason why chip tuning or ECU mapping doesn't make sense if you have a stock car. You see, modern engines can already control and adjust their timing based on fuel. So if you try and use higher grade fuel and advance the timing even more, you'll probably reach peak pressure as the engine is reaching top dead center or even a little bit before, which would cause a lot of problems. So you can't really advance the timing that much more than the most advanced setting in the ECU. Now this doesn't really apply if you have a car with boost, you're adding a turbo or supercharger, because then you can actually bump up the pressure in the engine and you do need higher octane fuel to adjust for that. Now all of that is super technical, so I've actually made a little animation to show how that works. So you don't really get what I'm saying about compression ratio and timing and pre-ignition and knock and all those other things. You might want to check it out. Hopefully it'll answer some of your questions. All right, so simple recommendation here. Use the octane rating that your manufacturer recommends. Using a lower grade will actually get you less performance. And using a higher grade won't actually help any. Simple, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, that sort of thing. And I will see you guys soon.